It's been almost seven years since Holyoke's Mater Dolorosa Church was closed and merged with nearby Holy Cross Parish to create Our Lady of the Cross Parish. These have been seven years marked with controversy and acrimony over the fate of the former Mater Dolorosa Church structure. And faced with mounting concerns about the structure, it appeared just months ago to be headed for demolition. But this past Thursday, news of an agreement between the City of Holyoke and the Diocese gave new hope that this building will be preserved. Carolee McGrath attended the announcement and filed this report. We are proud to announce today that the City and the Diocese have reached an agreement that would preserve the former Mata de Rosa Church building, a significant priority for many in our community and this administration. Springfield Bishop Mitchell Rosansky joined Holyoke Mayor Alex Morse to announce the proposed resolution regarding the former Mater Dolorosa Church located on Lyman and Maple Streets in Holyoke. The parish was home to the city's Polish community. As a result of pastoral planning and parish reconfigurations, it was closed seven years ago. The city of Holyoke will acquire the building for $50,000. The diocese will maintain ownership of certain structures in the church, such as stained glass windows. The city will pay a $1 per year lease that will enable those structures to remain in the building. It is important for us to preserve this cultural icon for the Polish community and the city as a whole. It's one of the few remaining buildings in the historic Polish neighborhood that was decimated by urban renewal in the 1960s and 70s. The diocese has long been concerned with the structural integrity of the building and engineers pointed out the potential for the steeple to collapse. Former parishioners fighting to save the building disputed those findings and even appealed to the Vatican to save the parish. The Vatican ruled on the side of the diocese. The issue has been a contentious one over the years with former parishioners holding an around-the-clock vigil at the church. The diocese was given a permit to demolish the steeple of the church last October, but those plans were put on hold as the mayor and the bishop discussed a possible acquisition. I've certainly known about uh, Madre Dolorosa Church since I arrived here almost four years ago. And we were looking for a solution, or I should say a resolution, that would be both favorable to the community, but also realistic in keeping up the church. So uh, different groups have approached us, but not with realistic plans in maintaining the church. I believe this gives to us uh, an opportunity to have a group that will realistically be able to keep up the church as a historic place. Mater de la Rosa and Holy Cross Parish merged to form Our Lady of the Cross Parish in 2011. Bishop Rzanski says while church closings are emotional and difficult, he says it's the result of changing demographics. When we look at how the demographics have changed, particularly in our area of western Massachusetts, um, the economics have changed over the years. Certainly in Holyoke, we were known as the paper city. But many of those mills have closed, the workers had gone elsewhere. And just in natural attrition of demographics, people move, the children grow up, get married, move to homes in other places. And we're affected by those things. The church is not immune to that. The city council must approve the acquisition. If the council gives the green light, the transfer will be complete by June 30th, and requests for proposals will go out in the fall. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath.